What's up everybody, it's Neon Velocity. Today's video goes over the Gears of War and A-Ape by Bape collaboration and how you can support AA by using in-game cosmetics. I also discuss what I think these cosmetic items or DLC will cost based on prior pricing history in the Gears of War franchise. Don't forget to check out my prior videos that discuss Gears Pop, Halo Reach, and the Sarah Connor and Terminator skins coming to Gears 5. You can check out the links below in the description or in the top right corner of this video. The Gears of War and A8 collaboration is actually the second phase of their partnership. There is a new clothing line coming out and in-game cosmetics coming to players who purchase either the physical clothing collection or the customization pack. So that means there's two ways of getting these in-game cosmetics. One of the ways is by purchasing the A8 by Gears capsule collection. This collection will be releasing on August 30th these are physical clothing lines, so I'm not exactly sure what's going to be in the physical clothing line, but I suspect that there's going to be the hoodie that Kate is obviously wearing in the promotional trailer and probably a few shirts as well. One thing that I want to note about the capsule collection is that there is a red camo banner that I believe is exclusive to the physical clothing collection. Whereas the Gears 5 by A8 customization pack contains Kate Diaz and she's going to be wearing the Gears Blue camo hoodie, the black camo weapon set, the A8 mark and blood spray. So I believe that in the end you can get all these cosmetic items in Gears 5 except the red camo banner when you purchase the customization pack. So for those interested in how much this may cost. I suspect it will be similar to the Run the Jewels airdrop that released for Gears of War 4 at around $20 USD, which contained two character skins, emblems, bounties, and weapon skins. That pack did go on sale occasionally for about 50% off, so $10. So for those who are wondering what A-Ape or Bape is, they are a clothing line that was founded in Japan in 1993. It's a popular street culture fashion brand. It's mainly international and has locations in New York, Hong Kong, London, Singapore, and various other locations. A Ape by a Bathing Ape, or Bape, is the second line of Bape. It started off as a female streetwear company, but eventually developed into a completely different entity, as you can tell with the collaboration with Gears of War. As of today, it's more of a casual wearer focusing on lightness and comfortability for their clothes. So my question to you all is, are you planning to buy any of the A8 clothing physical line or the A8 customization pack? Let me know in the comments of your thoughts on limiting certain cosmetics behind physical clothing. Is this a good marketing strategy or a poor choice? I also wanna try something a little bit different here. Let's try to get this video to 30 likes. I want to see the community come together. I feel like we're on the path of greatness with Gears 5 and Gears Pop releasing here in just literally a day and a few weeks. So be sure to subscribe to my channel for future Gears 5 and Gears Pop gameplay videos, tips, strategies, as both these games are nearing their global release. If you enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up, click the bell icon, share this video, on your favorite social media site, follow me on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links in the description below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.